You know, I think, you know, the way we train, the way we practice, you know, like we would do training camp for two weeks, sometimes three weeks, you know, until you get out of that first month of the season. Mm -hmm. Training camp now is three days, three, four days. You know, and it's a lot of it is not contact. It's, you get you have one practice that's contact, one that's more learning, teaching, and so it's the way we train for that season. Yeah. Our training camps, and the game, let me tell you, practice was always harder than the game, mm. and and because that makes you ready and better to get ready to play, because practice always should be harder than the game. It should be, always be harder, really, because that keeps you from injury because a lot of guys get injured early before they even play a game you know going into the regular season either in training camp or preseason you know a lot of guys are not ready Mm -hmm. but we were ready to play Mm -hmm. at the end of that preseason I mean our practice man you had man you had guys going at each other in practice you know it was no friends in practice now we was after that we, we didn't you know, get too personal with that kind of stuff because we didn't hold it against one another because it's just about business. And we all would go out and eat together every practice, the whole, the whole team. No way. We would go out to eat together, find a restaurant, we'd go out to eat. We were, we were a family, and I think that's the difference. How was that when y'all wanted to eat? Did one person pay the bill or you all? <laughs> oh, boy, I'm glad you asked that question. <laughs> so my first year of training camp, and we go eat, right? And they said, Rook, we're going to gonna go to this restaurant and uh, everybody's going to eat I said okay yeah I'm, I'm I'm good I'm down so we get to the restaurant everybody order what they want at the end of the meal they say Rook take care of the bill I'm like man I can't pay this money man <laughs> what are you talking about that's a lot of money they said we're gonna get it one way or the other so you might as well pay for it but that was one of the uh the things wow. you had to go through you got to pay your dues you know when you're Rook and but every team did it mm-hmm. every team did it and so when I became a vet oh I couldn't Wait, I couldn't wait to take them rookies. To the <laughs> so, and again, man, it's just a level of respect that you have to have. But, yeah. but the thing is, it brought all of us together. Mm-hmm. It brought all of us together. What would those bills be? Those those dinner bills? What? Man, back then, okay, you say a two or three thousand dollar bill in the eighties. Oh, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Back then. <laughs> that's a lot of you money. You wasn't born in the eighties. Yeah. I was hey, born man, in ninety. Listen, man, nineteen ninety. Because, you know, we used to get, like, per diem on the road. Per diem was only, like, 35 to $75 when I first came in. Per day? Per day. Per day. It's not even going to get you in and out. Per day. <laughs> What's that going to get now, you? Back then? Now, now they, oh, yeah, now yeah, yeah, they yeah, don't yeah, even yeah. use their uh, per diem, you know. They don't y'all, need y'all, it. Y'all so rich. They don't need yeah. it. They don't need it. Oh, you but, get a per diem still to this day? Yes. The players yes. still to this day. Oh, we, even though they're making thirty million a year, they get a per absolutely. diem. Absolutely. How much a per diem now? Did it go up? To I, man, it's ten thousand. It's day. up there, but I don't know what it is <laughs> though. But it's up there. So hey, I'm happy for them, man. You know, That's they crazy. getting what we didn't get. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I, I can't imagine being a team owner and having to worry about paying this guy fifty bucks or five hundred bucks a day for food when oh, I'm paying him thirty no, million a year. N- n- nobody's worrying about it. Trust me. No, <laughs> man, they're making, <laughs> they're making about a killing. The NBA making a killing. Yeah, I gotta ask you a question. Uh, how is it that these NBA teams are able to pay these players so much money? Well, right it's now? a lot of moving parts. It's just not about you know the gate. You know, you look at these TV contracts. I mean, they have more than enough to take care of everybody. And I think it's great. And the TV deal is even bigger now. And they just signed a huge TV deal to NBA. So, man, I'm, I'm happy for what these guys are doing. They're becoming not just players, but they're becoming brands and corporations. So mm-hmm. it, it's wonderful to see. You know, you have yeah. kids that's coming up that, you know, you want to see, you know, sharing some of that. Um, and I have a son who's a 6'11". Balling. Baller. Balling. We know, need so him on that NIL You know, I want him to experience that. So He's incredible. Oh, he can, oh. he can go. 